We are here at the finale of House of the Dragon. Flew by. Can't believe we are already here. But this is the House of the Dragon preview trailer breakdown. In this video, I will tell you everything that you should expect in this finale from what we've seen on this trailer. <laughs> Here we go. What up to my thugs, nerds, freaks, and geeks? You're now rocking with the one, the only, the Don Tony Teflon. As always, 500 is a like goal. Please help me hit that like goal by hitting that like button. And if you like A Song of Ice and Fire and House of the Dragon content, consider subscribing to the channel so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. The preview trailer is here. Let's get right into it. The Greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra, and for your children. So this picks right up where the last episode left off, and that's Rainy. She leaves the dragon's pit after she's seen the coronation of Aegon and them trying to usurp the throne. And we see her flying over to Dragonstone to inform Rhaenyra and Daemon of what's going on. And she says specifically to you, the greens are coming for you and also your children. So this is a whole thing. It's not just about her sitting the throne. The greens are also going to kill her children. So she has no choice but to defend herself and defend her children. You cannot bend the knee to the high towers. They stole your birthright. So this scene starts off with a picture of Dragonstone and we hear Damon saying you cannot bend the knee to the high towers. They stole your birthright. So obviously he's talking to Rhaenyra. We do see a shot of him grabbing his sword dark sister. So it seems like Rhaenyra is trying to be peaceful. She's like, you know what? Maybe I should just give them the, everything they want. Let's just stop this war. Let's not go to war. And Damon's like, nah, they stole your birthright. You have no choice but to do this, we go into war no matter what. And it seems like he convinces her to do it. We also see a shot of Eamon, one eye taken off his eye patch. Now in the books, he has like a sapphire, crystal, some type of gem he puts in his eye socket. Will they do that for the show? Who knows, they didn't do purple eyes for the show. So I don't know if they're going to do it, but maybe that's why they're showing him take his eye patch off here. Every man standing around the painted table urges her to plunge the realm into war. Lay siege to the Red Keep. Send us. So as we've seen in the last episode, the Green Council meeting the people who supported the Green, the High Towers. This is the Black Council, the people who are supporting Rhaenyra. And you see that she does have people on her side. And we see them have the same painted table. We've seen this in Game of Thrones. This is the table that was made by Aegon the Conqueror that he had his people make before he took over Westeros. And as you hear, anyone who looks at this painted table, that means war is coming. We also see a bunch of swords getting put out there. And we hear her council member tell her to lay siege to the Red Keep in King's Land. Basically, go down there with your dragons and burn this whole place down, straight up. Just burn them down and get it over with. Now, this is the advice that Danny got from the Queen of Thorns to do it, but Danny did not want to look like a bad person. She didn't want to do it for that reason. Maybe Renera will go for a different route. We also then hear her son say, send us. So that was Lucerus, and he's talking about sending him and his brother off to treat with other lords to try to get them on his side. Then we see Lucerus' jacket with his sword, and we see him run onto his dragon. It's very stormy at this particular time, so most likely where he's at is Storm's End while the rain is coming down. I swear to ward the queen. Your cause owns a power that has not been seen since the days of old Valyria. So we see Sir Eric or Eric or whatever you want to call him. He must have stole the crown 
of Viserys and made his way over to Rhaenyra because that is the crown that he's using to swear fealty to her. So just like they did something for him in the dragon pit and they used Aegon the Conqueror's crown, now Rhaenyra is going to use her father's crown and say, because I'm wearing his crown, this is why I should be queen and recognize as the true queen of the seven kingdoms and that's what i mean when i'm saying he's going to parlay with other houses letting them know whose side are you going to be on are you with me or are you with them we see his son luceris flying on dragon's back in the storm again this is most likely him coming from storms End or heading to storms End to treat and ask them to be on rhaenyra's side they show a quick shot of Damon and Rhaenyra talking outside. This is probably when he said earlier, they stole your claim. It's probably this is where they have that conversation outside. And then we see a close up of a dragon's eye. I can't really make out exactly what dragon it is. <laughs> So the first shot is a shot that we've seen from the beginning in the trail. It seems that it's Damon going into a dragon's pit. Now, whether this is his dragon, it does look like his dragon that he's going there for. Maybe he's getting ready for this war or maybe he's getting another dragon ready for somebody else. But if I had to choose, I would say it's him dealing with his dragon. Then we see a bunch of dragons leaving Dragonstone. So what's going on here is these are all the dragons that are going to treat with other lords to find out if they are on her side. So she's going to have all these people that are on these dragons go to different spots. Someone's going to go to Storm's End. Someone's probably going to go to Winterfell. Someone's probably going to go to all these places in Westeros and ask them, whose side are you on? We want you on our side and try to make a deal with them why they should be with us. Maybe it's a marriage proposal or whatever they want, but try to get these lords on their side, on Rhaenyra's side, so that she could truly be recognized as the queen because the more allies you have the better chance you have to win this battle we then see a dragon shooting fire up into the air and we could see somebody standing right underneath him so this probably is this a just a display of power nothing more than that nothing truly special going on here this is not a dragon battle scene just something to show you that this dragon has really hot fire if i had to guess whose dragon this is i would say that this is aiming one eye and his dragon if i had to call it we then see Damon pulling out his sword with some king's guardsmen. So we have their own king's guard for Rhaenyra. And this is them putting the sword on her head. And then them all swearing fealty to her. And then we see a big dragon's mouth at the end. This is without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. This is Aemon One-Eyes dragon. Because it's the biggest dragon. And you could tell by the skin that this is 100% his dragon and this dragon looks like it's about to eat something like it's chomping upward it looks like it's flying up into the air from the sides it looks like there's clouds all around and it looks like it's about to bite something if i had to guess what it's going to bite i would say opening its mouth that wide the way it did it's most likely going to have to bite something very big i would say it's going to be biting another dragon we have not seen a dragon battle yet and I think that we are due for a dragon battle. The Dance of Dragons is known for dragons fighting each other. That's something that I think that they'll do in this first season and not hold that back for the second season. Especially since this is the last episode. I don't think that it would, you know, tax the budget too much to show one dragon battle. And I think that's exactly what's going on here is a dragon battle. So the Dance of Dragons is 100% on and popping right now. Season two is going to be crazy. This last episode looks like it's going to be crazy. If I miss something, please let me know in the comments section what you think. What was your favorite part of this trailer? To me, it's really just the whole response of Renera and the fact that she actually did not want to go 
to war and that she was trying to you know just get out of this whole situation it seems like it's damon that talks her into it that to me is the most shocking part because i would think that she would just be upset right off the bat that these people just tried to steal the throne from her and just want to go to war right away but it seems like that is not the case and this dragon is biting someone's dragon's ass off we're gonna find out exactly who that is when this episode starts so if you like the way i do this please thumbs up this spread this across the realm and as always subscribe and until next time you know who it is peace and stay sexy